the universe is an ancient place of mystery, filled with wonders we can only imagine. So something colossal is tearing through the heavens faster than anything we've witnessed before. It's not just space dust or a rogue rock. It's cutting across the solar system at a blistering pace. Oumuamua, which created quite a buzz for its unique shape, which is unlike any other asteroid. But what happens when one of those wonders arrives on our doorstep? A new cosmic visitor has astronomers scrambling. Here's a fact you may not know. Only three confirmed interstellar objects have ever been observed. An interstellar object is a small body that arrived from beyond our solar system and it travels on a hyperbolic trajectory, an unbound path that swings by the sun once and then escapes forever. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, the second was Borisov in 2019, and the third is three, I slash A T L A S, discovered by the A T L A S survey on July 1st, 2025, and confirmed interstellar the following day. Out of billions of objects in our solar system, just three have come from outside. That rarity makes each one a priceless data point. With ATLAS, astronomers quickly detected a clear coma and ultraviolet signatures tied to water in late July and early August 2025. For the first time, they have a baseline to compare what is normal. But how do astronomers know at the start that an object is truly interstellar? The defining feature of an interstellar object is its orbit. Most planets, asteroids, and comets that belong to our solar system travel on ellipses, closed loops that bring them around the sun again and again. An interstellar body follows a different path, a hyperbolic trajectory. In plain terms, that means not bound to the sun. It comes in once, swings by, and then leaves for good. To describe any orbit, astronomers also use two other key terms. Perihelion means the closest point to the sun in an orbit and one astronomical unit, or AU, equals the average Earth-Sun distance, about 150 million kilometers. With these basics, scientists can measure orbits precisely enough to separate local objects from outsiders. Still, appearances can mislead. Sometimes long-period comets from the Oort cloud, an immense sphere of icy bodies thousands of astronomical units away, drift inward after a gravitational nudge. Early calculations for these comets can make the trajectories look slightly hyperbolic. Careful tracking usually reveals their paths are only marginally unbound, showing they are still part of the solar system. For that reason, astronomers do not call an orbit interstellar without strong supporting evidence. For Atlas, that evidence came quickly. Its orbit showed an eccentricity of roughly 6.28. Eccentricity is a simple number that describes orbit shape. A circle has an eccentricity of zero. Any ellipse lies between 0 and 1. Exactly 1 defines a parabola, the line between closed and open orbits. Anything greater than 1 is hyperbolic, meaning unbound. A value above 6 is not just hyperbolic, but far beyond what solar system objects can reach. Atlas also showed a velocity at infinity, or v by infinity, of about 57 kilometers per second. That value is the object's speed relative to the sun if measured from very far away outside the sun's gravitational pull. This speed is far higher than typical Oort cloud inbound velocities and makes a solar system origin extremely unlikely. A useful way to picture it is with a simple spacecraft analogy. Think of a probe that only flies past a planet once. The planet's gravity bends its path, but never captures it. That is essentially what ATLAS does around the sun. It roars through, but cannot be retained. This test, measuring orbital eccentricity and velocity, is the core diagnostic astronomers use. Oumuamua, the very first case, proved interstellar because its eccentricity edged just past one. Borisov, in 2019, confirmed the pattern with another clearly hyperbolic orbit. These numbers mattered more than other observed details because no local explanation could match them. The same principle applies today with Atlas. Taken together, the three known examples underscore why orbital data remain central. A true interstellar object announces itself through an open-ended trajectory, an eccentricity greater than one, and unreal speeds compared to solar system comets. These measurements do not depend on appearance or composition. They stand as the fundamental evidence behind an interstellar designation. Recognizing this helps explain why astronomers treat each discovery differently. Some visitors behave in ways no one expected. Others look conventional. And now, 
Atlas adds yet another layer. The orbital math is clear enough, but as the earlier objects revealed, it is their behavior after entering the solar system that poses the deeper puzzles. With that in mind, the first two interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Borisov, show just how different these objects can appear once inside the solar system. Astronomers quickly realized they represented opposite ends of a spectrum, from puzzling outlier to familiar comet. Oumuamua, discovered in October 2017, behaved unlike anything researchers had seen before. Its orbit clearly marked it as coming from outside, but telescopes struggled to fit its appearance and motion into categories used for asteroids or comets. One of the first surprises was its light curve, the way its brightness rose and fell as it rotated. The variations were so sharp that models indicated a highly elongated and tumbling object, possibly several times longer than it was wide, but the exact proportions remained uncertain since no direct image was ever captured. Whatever the final numbers, Oumuamua's shape was unusual compared with most solar system objects, which tend to be roughly round or only moderately stretched. The bigger mystery was its motion. Careful measurements showed a small but measurable acceleration beyond what gravity alone could explain. In comets, extra acceleration often comes from sublimating ices. Sublimation means turning directly from solid to gas, which vents into space like a jet and pushes the nucleus slightly. The problem was that Oumuamua showed no coma. A coma is the cloud of gas and dust that usually forms when a comet becomes active near the sun, and astronomers looked hard but saw nothing of the sort. The consensus view is that the push still came from sublimating ices, likely carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, that could vent gas without creating a large or dusty coma visible to telescopes. This hypothesis matches the observed acceleration while explaining the absence of obvious dust. There are alternative ideas, some proposing unusual chemistry or more speculative physical processes, but those remain hypotheses with little direct evidence. In any case, Oumuamua stood out as an object whose behavior defied standard comet categories. Only two years later came two I slash Borisov, discovered in late 2019, which offered an almost perfect counterexample. From the start, Borisov looked like a textbook comet. Telescopes documented a bright and expanding coma, a long dust tail pointing away from the sun, and spectral signatures of common cometary gases. It even showed an unusually high level of carbon monoxide compared to many solar system comets. But this was well within the expected range of natural variation. In contrast to Oumuamua, Borisov reassured astronomers by behaving exactly how a comet should, just one that happened to arrive from interstellar space. The contrast between the two cases is often framed through analogy. Oumuamua was like a student turning in an assignment filled with confusing answers, while Borisov delivered the standard template without error. Both were interstellar, but one demanded explanations beyond the familiar, and the other immediately fit into existing models. Taken together, the pair highlighted the remarkable range possible in interstellar objects. On one side of the spectrum stood the enigmatic Oumuamua, still debated years later. On the other was Borisov, recognizable and straightforward. These differences created both opportunity and uncertainty for astronomers. Interstellar visitors were now confirmed facts of observation, but two early examples told very different stories. The critical question became whether future arrivals would lean toward the puzzling or the conventional. That question set the stage for the anticipation surrounding the next discovery. Researchers wondered if the following interstellar object would again look exotic, suggesting Umamua was not a fluke, or if it would resemble Borisov, implying most such visitors are simply comets like the ones already familiar to science. So which side of the spectrum will the next interstellar visitor fall on? Oddball, like Oumuamua, or textbook, like Borisov? When astronomers spotted Atlas on July 1st, 2025, they had the chance to find out. 3. I slash ATLAS quickly established itself as something astronomers had long hoped to find. A clear example of a normal interstellar comet. From the outset, its trajectory confirmed that it was unbound from the Sun. But what made it stand out was the early evidence of activity. Mid-July, images showed a faint coma, the diffuse shell of gas and dust that forms when ice is warm and vaporize. This early sign revealed that Atlas was not an inert rock, but a comet beginning to release material. On July 21st, the Hubble Space Telescope captured the sharpest view yet. 
the images showed a teardrop-shaped glow of dust surrounding the icy nucleus, structured rather than chaotic. Alongside this, Hubble placed an upper limit on the nucleus diameter of about 3.5 miles, or 5.6 kilometers, while noting the body could be as small as 1,000 feet, around 320 meters. These paired results, shape of the coma and size limits of the solid core, offered the strongest confirmation that Atlas was behaving in line with comets long observed within our solar system. The timing of this activity mattered. Atlas was still about 4.5 astronomical units from the Sun during these detections. An AU is the average distance between Earth and the Sun, about 150 million kilometers. At 4.5 astronomical units, the comet was well outside Earth's orbit, near the distance of Jupiter, where sunlight is far weaker. Most solar system comets begin to show strong comas only when they have moved closer in. Seeing Atlas already active at that range raised questions about what processes were driving its early outgassing. A key answer arrived at the turn of the month. Around July 31st and August 1st, ultraviolet observations from space detected hydroxyl radicals, or OH. OH forms when solar ultraviolet light breaks apart water molecules. Because of this, astronomers use OH as a widely accepted tracer for water vapor. Detecting OH meant there was direct evidence that ATLAS was releasing water well before perihelion. The causal chain was clear. Sublimating ice, water vapor, O production, ultraviolet detection. These measurements placed Atlas firmly in the category of a water-active comet. The geometry makes this significant. Atlas will reach closest approach to the Sun, or perihelion, on October 29th to 30th, 2025, at about 1.4 astronomical units. That distance is just inside the orbit of Mars. Typically, water activity strengthens as a comet draws much closer than this. To detect clear water signals nearly three months before perihelion, at several astronomical units, shows that interstellar ices can behave much like solar system ices under similar conditions. It provided astronomers with a valuable baseline, a way to directly compare activity levels across local and interstellar comets. The consensus among planetary scientists is straightforward. The coma, the dust halo captured by Hubble, and the OH emission together show that ATLAS is acting as a standard active comet. The outgassing rates, about 0.1 to 1 kilogram of dust per second, are consistent with first-time comets falling inward from the edges of the solar system. Nothing in the current data requires unusual chemistry or exotic physics. In this view, Atlas is remarkable, not for strangeness, but for its ordinary behavior, finally offering a clean comparison point. An alternative hypothesis has been raised in parallel. Some researchers suggest that the relatively early water activity could indicate differences in the primordial ices that make up the nucleus. Perhaps it formed with a higher proportion of volatile molecules under the very cold, high-density conditions of another stellar nursery. If so, its chemistry might not match perfectly with what we see in local comets. That idea remains a hypothesis. Testing it will require spectroscopic measurements of molecules beyond water, which will be a focus as Atlas approaches perihelion. Atlas demonstrates that an interstellar object can display ordinary comet behavior, forming a coma, shaping a dust halo, and releasing water vapor. That gives astronomers a baseline for comparing local and interstellar ices under similar conditions. Here's the key takeaway. Atlas provides the first clear case of water-driven cometary activity from an interstellar visitor. That contrast makes Oumuamua's lack of visible coma and unexplained acceleration more puzzling. And future finds will test whether Atlas is the common pattern or just one end of a wider spectrum. What do you think best explains these differences? Straightforward water outgassing, unusual formation chemistry, or another hypothesis? Share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe if you want updates as observatories continue monitoring ATLAS. What we don't know yet is just as important. Coordinated efforts with Hubble, Webb, Swift, and ground-based telescopes will refine its composition and activity after perihelion, helping reveal how typical, or unusual, this interstellar comet really is.